Hi, everyone. Happy Thursday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Topps Museum Collection Baseball Full Case Break. Pick your team number three from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to all of the folks who bought their teams straight up. And we also popped a bunch of teams into the random number blocks, which are in bold, and in serial numbers, which are in italics. We'll do the serial number one first. So... We sold 20 spots. You'll get assigned a number between 1 and 100 just for these teams only. So if you get randomized number 99, you'll get every 99 out of whatever for the Braves, Red Sox, Cubs, Mariners, Dodgers, White Sox, and Astros. There are a bunch of non-numbered cards or cards numbered over 100, 101 and up. Those will be randomized as one lot. So it's basically the base cards and maybe a few cards that may be numbered over 100. So big thanks to these folks right here for giving that one a shot. One spot gets you five numbers. So there's one, two, three, four, and five to make 100. And there are all the numbers between 100 down to one. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list. Two and a five, seven times. One, two, three, four, five. Six and seventh and final time. After seven times, we have TJ Poyer down to Chad B. So we got the serial number tab on the bottom right there. I'll share this list with those of you watching live as well so you can keep track of all that. So let's paste that there. And uh, two and a five, seven times for the serial numbers. One, two, three, four, five. Six and seventh and final time. After seven times, we've got 67 all the way down to 98. All right. Oh, why is my cursor on? It's kind of annoying. Oh, we were, we were playing the map game yesterday. We were looking at the maps. That's why. All right, so I'm just, just going to slowly scroll down through these numbers just so you see them as is. And then I'll order these by your first name. So Brian O., there are your block of numbers here. Chad, Jack, Josh. And these are just for those teams at the bottom right there where the, that green tab is highlighted, just for those teams. Boombox. There you go, Mark. Thank you. And spot 100 will get redemptions too. All right? Is that what it says? Yes, spot 100 gets any and all redemptions. Grego, there are your block of numbers right here. Ryan McGregor, TJ Poyer, William Bartle. You got a bunch right here. Thank you. Right up to the end. Right there. So there you go. Now, we've got random number block teams right here that are in bold. There's all the details right there. This one's a little bit easier, right? So if you get randomized number nine, you can get 199 out of whatever for all of these teams only. So thanks to these folks for getting to that one. There are the numbers right here. So it's the very last number, the first number. Let's roll the dice eight times for this one. Five and a three. Your name's first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight times, Grego down to John Gotti. So let's go to the random number block tab, which is on the bottom right there. Right. So only for those teams will we be doing random number blocks. So there are the names there. Now we'll do the numbers eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, we've got one down to nine. All right, so Grego, you have one. Boombox, seven and six. Brian O with three. Jack, zero. 
Boombox with eight, Laurel with five, Boombox, Last Bot Mojo, four, Isaac with two, and John with nine. Let's order these numerically right here. All right, now I'm going to share this list with those of you watching live so you can digest all of your numbers. I'll give everyone a few moments to kind of digest that. So here's the team sheet. If you are on a mobile device or can't access Google Sheets, definitely let me know in the chat before we get the break started so uh, I can tell you what you have. All right, everyone, sounds like everyone's good. All right, so let's print out this list right here. So we'll keep track of that. I'm going to order these numerically again. This could be easier for me to tell you who got the hits. And at the end of the break, I'll randomize everyone on this list right here using the original uh, 20 names, and the name on top will get any non-numbered cards just for those teams on that bottom tab, and cards numbered 101, serial numbered 101 and up. All right. Good luck, everybody. Diane said she saw a one-of-one one dual auto Patch, gold frame card of Derek Jeter and Aaron Judge. Yeah, this stuff has been pretty strong. We've been pulling some nice stuff as well. We got that out of five David Ortiz framed autograph, the Jacob deGrom sketch card, one of one. So a lot of great hits everywhere. All right, so there are six on the left side, six on the right side, doing a full case break takes about an hour, just a little under an hour, so relax, settle in. It's a good way to start the day. Let me actually get, get a little schedule going here in the chat. So we should be ready to go with another break around uh, 5 o'clock LA time. You can see in the chat. Nothing else is sold out yet, but I think another museum collection is pretty close. So let's get it going. I don't think we, we don't have too many left. So we'll make it happen. Oh, the Yankees random number block break just sold out, which means we're just a serial number thing away from unlocking Picker Team 4. Only 14 spots left in that other serial number. So make that happen, folks. All right, good luck, everybody. I got the Rockies Diamondbacks game on. Diamondbacks up four to three. I have a little financial interest in the Colorado Rockies are only down by a run. So let's see if they can do something in the top of the ninth. Who else was I on today? I was on uh, the Rangers today. They won. I've got a little financial interest in the Cardinals. The Cubs. A little financial interest there. 
the Reds. We've been a little hot right now. Got to heat check. And the the Royals. The Royals at home. Good luck, everyone. Let's get all these cards here. And now the hits. We've got... Yelich, who is going to reveal a Yoenna Cespedes, Meaningful Material, out of 35. And that will be for, actually, let me just show you the list again right here. The official printout, that'll be for Joe Ivers and the Mets. I don't know why you're in bold, Joe Ivers. I'm going to have to reprint that. But that's a nice three-color patch for you. Justin S., with the Phillies has last spot mojo. There's Buster Posey, 25 to 150. And we've got Trey Mancini, 5 out of 50, archival autograph. That's going to go to, that's a number block team, the Orioles. And five, number five is Laurel, with number five. Nice, I'm gonna set these in a different pile over here. There's Cal Ripken Jr., 48 out of 99. And then we've got Scooter Jeanette, 204 out of 299 for the Reds. That's for Arthur, who got the Reds straight up. And on this side, we've got Yadier Molina, who reveals a Mookie Betts, 86 out of 99, quad relic. Two pieces of his lumber, two pieces of the jersey. That is a serial number team. That's Boston Red Sox. And that'll go to number 86. Scroll all the way down. 86 is Mike Grego. There you go, Grego. Set that in a different pile right here, too. All right, there you go. Next box. We got Glaber Torres. He reveals an archival autograph of Jason Veritek. Remember Tech? 155 out of 199. 
And that's uh, Red Sox are a serial number team. So that's over the number 101. It's over 100. So that'll be part of that lot randomizer. We'll set that over there. All right, Roberto Alomar, who is behind you, he reveals a Ramon Laureano, 24 out of 50, dual relic and autograph. The A's are a random number block team. So that will go to, who's got number four? Boombox, last spot mojo, number four. There's Corey Seeger. It's a serial number team. And a quad relic. Primary pieces for the Cardinals. There's Yachty. There's Goldschmidt. Down there, Matt Carpenter and Carlos Martinez. 63 out of 75 for John and the Redbirds. Team was picked up straight up. And then we got JT Riamuto. And he reveals, wow, look at that patch. Six out of ten for the Dodgers. CT3, Chris Taylor. It looks like, uh, it looks like some sort of anniversary patch for the Dodgers. Dodgers are a serial number team. And number six is William Bartle with number six. Nice. Next box. That's right, RTR. It is a night at the museum. We've got more in the store, folks. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. We've got random teams. We've got pick your teams. We've got a chance to get high-end teams for a fraction of the price. So check that out as well. Behind Mike Trout is Byron Buxton, 22 out of 25. Nice quad relic for the Twins. Steve Locke got the Twins straight up. There's Justin Verlander, 99. And we've got Freddie Freeman. 71 out of 80. Two color, triple relic, and autograph. Braves are a serial number team. So let's scroll down to number 71 out of 80. Boombox. Last spot, Mojo. Got number 71. There's Reese Hoskins for the Phillies. That'll go to Justin. And... For the Red Sox, Chris Sale, meaningful material. Three out of 25. That's another serial number team, Boston. And that's Boombox again with number three. And that three color patch, that is strong. And then we've got archival autograph, Juan Gon Gonzalez, 12 out of 199. Rangers, 
That's a random number block team. 12, that is for number two. And that's for Isaac. The IV. Isaac Velarde, the IV. Getting injected with a nice hit. Nice. Next box. Greg Holland is one out, but two men on board. First and second. Greg Holland closing for the Diamondbacks. I think he was a former Rocky, right? My financial interest in the Rockies. Top of the ninth. One out, two men on. See what happens. Meeting on the mound. All right, there's a reproduction right there. That that original sketch card of this would be pretty cool. All right, we got Cody Ballinger. He reveals a Francisco Lindor, 31 out of 99 Indians. Goes to Brad Davis, who bought the tribe straight up. Nice. Reese Hoskins to 150. And Wade Boggs, 5 out of 15. Boggsy. That's Ray's edition of Wade Boggs. And Alex Lindsay picked up the Rays straight up. Nice one, Alex. Alex getting the Rays straight up gets the Wade Boggs, Boggsy. Nice. There's David Ortiz. Get well soon, Big Poppy. And there's Jeff Samarja, 8 out of 25. That's for the Giants. That is a random number block team. And number 8 is Boombox. And behind Nolan Ryan is Jesus Aguilar, 195 out of 299 Brewers. Lou picked up the Brewers straight up. Next box. Oh, drop. That scores a run. Rockies have tied it up 4 4. Rockies, I think Tony Walters knew that I had financial interest in the Rockies. He heard me. It's like, oh, I better try to help Joe out. All right, next box. Just stack them up right there. My 
apologies to the Albert Pujols base card. The photography on here too. All right, there's Miguel Cabrera, and he reveals an Andy Pettit momentous material. Thirteen out of fifteen. Yankees boombox picked up the Yankees straight up. And gets the Andy Pettit. Juan Soto, 24 out of 99. And there's Juan Marichal, 5 out of 50. Giants edition. Everyone remembers the big fight between John Roseboro of the Dodgers and Juan Marichal. That's a random number block team. That is number five, Laurel, with that. After their playing careers, they became friends. Got Paul DeYoung, 48 out of 50. John with the Cardinals. There's Miguel Cabrera out of 150. And then we've got meaningful material. Marcus Stroman, 5 out of 25. Blue Jays, Mark Matheson with Marcus. Some, some trade rumors swirling around Marcus Stroman. Maybe contending teams who maybe need some middle of the rotation help. I guess he was, was he closing for a little bit? He was out of the bullpen for a little bit too. So... We definitely move in, move into that role as well for a playoff team. I feel like a lot of contending teams, especially my Dodgers, are having some issues with the bullpen. I don't know if the Dodgers are going to go out for Marcus Stroman, but some teams might. All right, we are, I think we're still on schedule, yeah. This is our, this box is box six. We'll be halfway through the break here after we finish this. saying your Dodgers should trade for Shane Green. I wouldn't mind Shane Green. What about Sean Green? Yeah. But then what about my fantasy team, Chad? I need the saves. No, Shane Green is actually a, a great candidate for getting traded, I think. He's saying it. Jeremy says he's saying in Detroit. Is he really? There's Jacob DeGrom, 002 out of 199. That's for Joe Ivers, who got his Mets. Oh, he better, says Jeremy. I don't know if he has a choice if he gets traded. Even when I picked him up in fantasy in, in the spring, the reports were he's a good candidate to get traded in the middle of the season. Especially if he does well. Marcelo Zuna, 15 out of 99. Nice quad relic for John and the Cardinals. There's Javier Baez. And there's Noah Syndergaard. Triple relic and autographs. So you got DeGrom and now Thor. 7 out of 25 for Joe Ivers. And his Mets. He's a Mets guy. Hey, 
And back here is an Astro, Carlos Correa, 51 out of 75. Correa is a serial number team. And 51 is William Bartle. I haven't seen any uh, I haven't seen any Tigers hits yet, Jeremy. Maybe like a Miguel Cabrera relic here and there, but nothing significant. It might be due. Isn't Shane Green a little on the older side? I think that was one of the reasons why, like, you know, some some sites have thought they would move the they would move Shane Green. You know, so if they're kind of trying to skew a little younger, trying to reload that farm system, maybe moving moving a Shane Green to maybe a a contender desperately de in need of uh, relief pitching, they might pay a higher price, might get a good haul, and continue building for the future. I feel like I I feel like Kristen Stewart. Is playing well for the Tigers. I feel like he's seen him on some of the highlight reels. So that's a that's a part of the future. Draft doesn't start till five, right? Draft should be starting soon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can leave it there. I, I have no interest in the draft anymore. <laughs> I heard they're gonna trade the uh, okay. No, not Kristen Stewart from Twilight. And for the Rockies. Primary piece is Charlie Blackman, Nolan Arenado, David Dahl, and Trevor Story, 28 out of 99, Rockies. Jose Zepeda picked up the Rockies straight up. There you go, man, on the board. Out of 25, nice low number. Or out of 99, sorry. But nice relics in there. All right. There's Sandy Koufax to 150. And we have Blake Snell. Nice two-color dual relic, 71 out of 299. Alex Lindsay picked up the race straight up. So we were talking earlier, some, uh, some reports saying that, that the Rays are thinking about, I don't know if it's set or anything like that, but they may consider spending half the season in Tampa Bay and half the season in Montreal. It'd be kind of weird. It's a lot of, a lot of travel. There's Big Papi, 32 out of 50 for the Red Sox. That's serial number team. Bo Sox, 32, goes to Boombox. Get well soon, Big Boppy, and don't mess around with the wives or wife of drug lords. <laughs> Pro tip. Josh Donaldson revealing a Pete Alonzo. That's for Joe Ivers and the Mets. Great break for the Mets. Pete Alonzo. Peter Alonzo, according to Museum Collection. Josh said it'd be easier for the AL East travel. What, what about the Rays, though? I'm thinking about the Rays, not their competitors. How would they do it? What? The report said they'd build new ballparks in both cities? Come on. I thought they were, I thought they were going to uh, I thought they were gonna move 
I thought they were going to move sta the stadium. Alex Lindsay, who has the race, say they should just move permanently. Florida doesn't care. But what about, I, I, I've always been told that it's the stadium that's weird. That's in a weird place. That's on the wrong side of the bay. It's not where the Buccaneers and Lightning are, which is a more better populated area. What if they move there? Maybe it still wouldn't matter. We got a good team. So I always thought they were going to try try getting a stadium in that Buccaneers uh, Time of Bay Lightning area instead of whatever, but I don't know. But I guess if I guess if they, no, did I accidentally, I think I accidentally grabbed the relic right here. But if, I guess if Montreal wants to build in the stadium, will baseball work in Montreal? It didn't work last time. It's going to work this time though. Should we, should we bring the – should the NFL go back to St. Louis? There's Steven Matz, 114 out of 299. Another Met for Joe Ivers. Johan Strasburg is George Springer. 33 out of 75. The Astros are a serial number team. Ryan McGregor with number 33. There's Luis Urias. And he will reveal a David Dahl. 99 out of 99 for the Rockies. Jose with the Rocks. Who are now in the top of the 10th. A little, little financial interest in the Rockies tonight. We've got the draft on the TV, NBA draft on the TV right here. Nice one, Jose. And behind Chipper Jones. is another Rocky, Kyle Freeland, 4 out of 35, another one for Jose. Nice. All right, four boxes to go. Yeah, Alex Lindsay is saying that if, if this two-city thing That'd be an interesting experiment. If that two-city thing actually happens, then, yeah, they, they would start in Tampa. Yeah, much, much better weather that time of year, right? And then they would they would spend... I mean, would, would they do, like, the first half of the season in Tampa and then the second half of the season in Montreal? Where would they play playoff games? So that is the plan. First half Tampa, second half Montreal, and then playoffs. Montreal. You think if I'm a Tampa Bay player, I can ask for a little more money because I was, I'm like, man, I gotta buy two houses. What's the housing situation? Now, actually, I'd, I you would want a house in Tampa, right? Isn't it? Isn't taxes better in Tampa? Compared to Canada? I 
out of 299, Michael Kopech, White Sox. That's a serial number team. That's 127 out of 299. That'll be a randomizer. It'll be part of that lot. There is Dansby Swanson for the Braves, 5 out of 10. That's also a serial number team. And that goes to William Bartle with number 5. Nice one, Will. I, Jeremy asks, I don't think they're going to go to Orlando. I don't think, that, I don't think that's going to happen. Montreal? Yeah, it's a good, I agree. Baseball's supposed to be cold. In the winter, right? There's Max Muncy for my Dodgers. 60 out of 199. Dodgers are a serial number team. And number 60 is for Jack. There you go, Jack. Max Muncy, I think, is facing off, uh, squaring off against Madison Bumgarner again. Remember how he hit a home run into the San Francisco Bay? And then told Bumgarner to go get it out of the ocean if he doesn't like him walking out of the box. I remember that. Out of 150, Aaron Nola for the Phillies. And back here we've got D.D. Gregorius, 55 out of 99. Quad relic for Boombox and the Yankees. Yeah, well, Jer Jeremy Mendel's point is that, listen, it, if they're bouncing around like that, those players aren't going aren't gonna to enjoy that, I think. I think if you're, if you're like a rookie, if you're like a single guy, I don't think you'd mind, you know. But if you're an older vet, family man, maybe that that might impact your decision if you want to sign for Tampa Bay slash Montreal or not. box. Good luck, everybody. We'll go through some orders after this. I see, I just see one order coming in. Okay, no one, no one wants to break then. Oh no, I think someone's going through orders. So we'll see what fills, what filled up after this. I think pick your team, the next pick your team for museum is getting close. I know that Yankees number block sold out. And the serial number for Pick Your Team 4 is down to 13. That's a nice suit, Zion Williamson. All right. There's Glaber Torres. And another Juan Gon Gonzalez, 76 out of 199. That's a random number block auto. Number six will go to Boombox. There's Goldschmidt to 150 for the Cardinals. And we've got Jay Hay, Jason Hayward, out of 50. Eight out of 50. Cubs are a serial number team. And number eight is going to be Grego. There you go, Grego. There's Roberto Alomar. 
And Jose Ramirez, 76 out of 199. A little bit of a dent right there from the manufacturing. Indians, Brad Davis. Here's what I'm gonna do, Brad. I'm gonna send you one of these so you can use that. And you can try to convince Tops to get you a replacement. You can say you just bought it. And we've got another Freddie Freeman. 33 out of 80. Braves are a serial number team. Number 33 is Ryan McGregor. It's your second 33. Nice. Was that other Freddie Freeman? No, couldn't be. Unless it was 33 out of 199. That's a triple relic auto. Nice. Box two. Two, our two boxes left, that is. Ooh, the Rockies have taken the lead, six to four. Well, the Rockies can just close it out in the bottom of the uh, tenth. And that'll be good for my investment today. NBA draft about to start. Who's going number one? <laughs> what if the Pelicans are just like? Going with Cam Reddish, number one. Just shock the world. Screw up the entire draft. Disrupt the entire draft. You guys, where is the NBA draft? I don't think I know where it is. New York? That's oh, New York. Oh, actually, that needs to go there. That's the hit. This needs to go here. Okay. All right. Oh, it's at Barclays. Brooklyn. I've been by there. Looks nice from the out. I've never, I haven't seen a game in there. Looks nice from the outside. All right. Behind Buster Posey is D.D. Gregorius. Another one for Boombox. You got a little infield dirt in there too. It is game used. It's for Boombox. There's Piazza for the Mets. And we've got Ramon Laureano at a 299. Oakland is a random number block team. 282 out of 299. That's for Isaac, IV. With Ramon Laureano. Yeah, yeah. Albert Pujols with showing off Whit Merrifield, 132 out of 299. Royals are also a random number block team. That's another 132 for Isaac. Nice one, Isaac. There's Alex Bregman. And meaningful material, Michael Waka. Waka, waka, waka for John and the Cardinals. There you go. Rich, we have not seen the frame yet, so it must be in here, right? Better be. All right, see. Oh, the uh, that jumbo patch auto was that feels like the frame is uh, I think Andy Pettit was like that horizontal 
or sorry, the, the vertical jersey and auto. Oh, Ray with breaking news. Adam saying Zion number one. No. That's, I don't believe it. What are your sources? And one left in the autograph baseball, says Adam. Let's do that too. Sold out? I'm hearing. I think it's sold out now. Nice. So that's probably coming up uh, after this. What? Zion doesn't have an agent? I remember even like last week or two, a couple weeks ago, he doesn't have an agent yet. Huh. And you know, like when the lottery happened, we were saying that like, he can go back. But I'm like, what? I was like, I know NFL is just way different. Like by end of January, I have to have an agent. Zion Williams doesn't have an agent, you guys? He must have an agent. Maybe by now, but I know when they did the lottery, he didn't have one. That's crazy. And I remember Nick was like, yeah, what if he goes back to college? I'm like, what? I was like, I'm going to go back to college still? Crazy. All right, last box, folks. Behind Bo Jackson. Oh, is the frame. Let's do that last. Behind Ted Williams. Is Oduble Herrera. Out of 199, 193 out of 199. Dual relic and autograph for the Phillies. Justin with the Phillies. Last spot, Mojo. We've got Yankees. There's Luis Severino, 23 out of 75. Boombox with the Yankees. Three color quad relic. And behind Trevor Bauer is Meaningful Material, Dustin Pedroia, 29 out of 50. That's a serial number team. That goes to Grego with number 29. There you go, Grego. We don't, I'm afraid, Jeremy. If we did, it'd be on the site. Especially on draft night. All right, and last is the case hit behind Bo Jackson. The gold frame is going to go to the Cincinnati Reds. That's Arthur Peru with the Joey Votto. 9 out of 10 gold ink autograph, gold frame. Arthur bought the red straight up. Nice. It's Arthur's birthday week too, so there's birthday week mojo going on for Arthur. He was hitting yesterday as well. Nice. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Got a couple randomizers to do. Or just one randomizer to do. So that's going back to the serial numbers where any non-numbered cards or cards numbered 101 and up will be randomized as one lot, which includes some of those autos in there as well. Or a couple autos in there, which was the Kopech auto and the Veritech auto. So the Veritech was 155 out of 199, and the Kopech was 127 out of 299, so over 100. For the randomizer, I'm going to use the original 20 spot list. I guess mathematically it doesn't matter, but I like using the original 20 right here. All right, so let's randomize that list. Four and a three, seven times. Name on top gets the extra stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, it's going to be Mark Boombox. You're going to get these two autographs, plus you'll get any of the non-numbered cards for the serial number teams, and I guess parallel, base card parallels, 101 and up, if, the, if any. If there's like 101 out of 150, those stuff like that will go to you. And there you have it, boys and girls. Another great break of museum collection in the books. We've got more in the store. Check it out on jazbeescasebreaks.com, and we'll see you next time for the next break.